The 144,000 are described in Revelation 14.5, and in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. They pop up in Revelation 7, Revelation 14. They have the character of God, God's name written in their forehead, meaning the character of God. They are without fault. They represent those who at the end of time would have come to the place of total victory, surrender to Christ, and the character of Christ fully represented in them so he can come and claim them as his own. Uh, Christ Object Lessons, page 69, paragraph 1. Now, some in the church believe the number is symbolic. Some believe it's literal. So I'm not giving one way or the other. What I'm saying is, what's important is the character of the 144,000. They are without fault before the throne of God. In their mouth was found no guile, which is how Christ is described in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21-22. Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. We will come to the place, those of us who are in that number, where we reflect the character of Jesus that he may come. You see, God must be able to say to the universe, here at last is an entire group of people who kept my law, give me the word, perfectly. Because Satan's original charge against God was, his law is unfair and cannot be kept. He, he tried to demonstrate that in the lives of Adam and Eve by causing them to sin. See, your law cannot be kept. Jesus came and he kept it. But the Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses, Jesus is only one witness. Are you with me? God needs another witness, and that is the church. Before Christ comes, the church must come to the place where we reflect his character through faithful obedience. Then God's, Satan's charge would have been finally overthrown, and God vindicated, and he can come. Some believe the number is literal, some symbolic, what I want to leave with you is the character of the members of that group. In their mouth was found no guile. They are without fault before the throne of God. Before the throne of God, they may be faulty in the eyes of people. They are without fault before the throne of God. If you look at Daniel, when uh, Darius went to the, the lion's den, Oh, Daniel, did God save you? He said, King, live forever. My God has sent his angel and have shut the lion's mouth that they have, done, they have not hurt me. Because before thee... Before thee, meaning the king, I have done no hurt. And also before God, innocence was found in me. I am innocent before God and man. The 144,000 will be in that condition. <laughs>